Hello everyone, I am tessellating hexagons back with some more even the ocean blind. Um, we finished the Magdal Woods power plant in the last episode, and now we just need to sort out this puzzle, which is very puzzle. Um, yeah, th th this is a lot less intimidating than it looks. Just, just a matter of working out which. Oh, that's that's aesthetically pleasing. But it's wrong! There we go. Now, if you're watching this on the day it goes up, then Happy New Year! My first video of 2017! <laughs> Just for a second there, I was worried that the game would stop reacting. So there you go. Air Geome? Sky Geome? I cannot remember which one you are, but you're clearly the fly one. <laughs> no, this is obviously the Sea Geome. Because it's swimming through stars, and it's shining so bright, shining so bright. No? No Kelly Saunders? You don't like my Kelly Saunders impression, which wasn't even an impression? Well, fair enough, you big apocalypse-bringing goose. Looks kind of goosey, I suppose. Maybe more like a swallow. Why am I saying these words? This has... This does not bring enlightenment to the game. Or oh, whatever. So that's Magdal Woods done. That was very... It was a very pleasant chapter, I suppose. Just everything in Magdal Woods is so clean and straightforward and hassle-free, and it was fun. And the music was very good as well. But now we have to make the customary trip back to Whiteforge for further debriefing and probably further news that... Oh, you've killed two of the Geomes, except they're still alive, you've just diverted them. Somehow I've managed to get spit on my screen, even though I'm quite a distance from it. I'm not sure how I managed that. But yeah, we're probably going to be told that, oh hey, the world's ending even though you're doing a good... Like, we're going to sort out Oscar base and that's going to be this episode, I think. I feel like that's going to be a thing there. Those things in the water, I don't know. What about these ones? These are also things that I hear. Can I check them? Oh, they, they are actual fish. They're vertical fish. Does that mean that the other ones are horizontal fish that just swim really quickly? Oh, Doorhead, you're not in the archive room this time. Gangnam Style, are you going to say anything before the end of this series? I mean, you spoke to us at the beginning, but I mean... Anyway, yes, we we are thoroughly killing it. Good, the we- Oh, the weapons weren't even finished. Oh, I was under the impression that we just happened to be charging them as part of a- Sort of as a benefit to what we were doing. Hmm. Well, it would make sense for us to go straight home from here to our new home, because we got a new home in the last episode as well, I think. Maybe in the episode before, I don't remember. But I maintain we should still go and visit Yara, because we had a bit of a falling out with her in the last episode, because turns out tensions are still a little bit high, she's still a little bit raw from Cassidy's death. We should at least try and make it up to her before just going straight to bed. Yara. Are you around? Brackets bounce. Apparently Aleph doesn't even want to. Well, can we go to our old house? Wow. Pulling absolutely no punches. Yara, please, I still want to be friends. And how are you doing? We haven't spoken to you since, like, episode two. Oh! Oh, you're related! I was going to say, oh, you're Allo, but you weren't in the junkyard, so... Yay, world building! <laughs> I'm I'm glad that I did that, because I wasn't expecting that to be interconnecty. Well, more fool me for going out of my way to try and visit Yara when clearly neither party involved wants anything to do with each other. Oh well. Home we go to the upper district place that's of the high social standings, because we live here now. Sleep. I mean... I wouldn't mind just going straight to Oscar Basin straight away, but Aleph, you clearly need some rest. A resty roo, if you will. A sleeping kangaroo. A resty roo. Shut up, Tess. So, yeah. We need to go to Oscar Basin and drive off what I suppose could only really be the sea geome. That's the only one that's left. But on the plus side, I know for a fact that... I, I, I'm assuming it's Oscar, because I'm... I've been calling it that for these past couple of episodes, and I've actually not... Like, I could be completely wrong. It could be... Egg. 
Just, just the whole area is called egg. But before we get there, I just want to check out this lump. Oh, they're birds. They are honk birds. And I'm out here. Geese man. Geese man. Geese men? Man geese. Honk. I don't know, that there's some coherent thought in there somewhere. But for now, I know, th I, was, I think I was halfway through saying something. Oscar Mason is pretty. Okay. See, someone finally... Nice. Someone finally acknowledging that energy is a thing that you can... Seriously, what do you keep... Is Are you just exclamation marking because you're in the rough vicinity of her? There's this stack again. Only purple dye. Maybe that's what the amulet was made of. Anyway, Oscar... Okay, I got the name right. This is a very pretty area, as we established all that time ago. And it's only going to get prettier. Yes, we are. This is the only place left to be do. Also, am I misseeing are those orange leaves or cherry blossoms? Well, we'll see them again in a second. They probably won't be cherry blossoms, given the climate, but... God, it's so pretty, even with the giant monster in the sky. Which is surprising, because I think that's supposed to be the sea geome. Yeah. So that platform isn't a bad then? I thought it was the geome spores. Like, it, it looks otherworldly enough to be that. The bowl of great trees. <laughs> They're great! I, I, I can't. I can't multiple R without rolling them or trilling them or whatever the correct phrase for that is. Storyteller statue, how is your booty? Is that a door in the tree? Because if it is, wahoo. Did I... W was that bounce or is that just... Do they ice physic? Oh no, we must platform except... Does that mean that we can't wall jump off, up that wall? Puff that wall? <laughs> 420 blaze an entire wall. Seriously, are those cherry blossoms or autumn leaves? Despite the winter everywhere. We leave footprints, by the way. That is attention to detail in a game like this. Rude. That is maximally uncouth. This is part of the story of this area, though, which I don't remember it in full. Oh, hey, we can just... What is the point of this gate? You can literally just go right over it. Oscar Basin people, get your shit together. But I'm just going to... I can't. I can't reopen it from this side. Wow. That's some powerful story shit there. Is this... Does this... That is, it's a bouncy goo. Ugu. But yeah, Oscar Basin as an area has issues. Oh, we can reopen this. Well, why couldn't we reopen the previous one? Well, fuck it. I'm going to restore some of my energy. Balance, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Thanks. Thanks for that, you bouncy goober. You're wasting everyone's time. And by everyone, I mean actually I'm doing the time wasting by insisting on being balanced at all times. Ugh. Oh, it's a fountain, but it's frozen. Can you be helped? That's a good question, because... Oscar Basin is a very touristy area, as we'll find out, or at least I think it is, so it could feasibly be either. The bowl of trees. Yeah, horizontal trees. And, yep, it's a tourist place. Well, there's nowhere else we can go, so... Into the bowl! With no animation whatsoever. So expect people here to be keeping up appearances. Okay, that was going comparatively well. I couldn't move through any of that. It was an extended cutscene, but 
that happened. Like I said, keeping up appearances, even when things go wrong, they're pretending that everything's okay. But also look at the background, isn't it pretty? Darnell Vale. You consider yourself a satellite, do you? Or a, a satellite, a township, what are you? An idiot sandwich. Wow, you really are trying to butter us up in, you know, like, you are just Mayor Biggs too. You say that, but places like these always have something to hide. You're, you're, you're so happy about it. I, I guess it's free advertisement for the town. I mean, we, we heard as much in the library. So, yeah, just direct us to the power plant and let us be on our way. It's not going to be that easy, though, is it? Oh, yeah, there we go. Lift activation key. That's not going to be there, is it? I mean, you, you say that, but... You have a face. It's a nice face. Oh, you're, re you're <laughs> related to the chairman? That, that wouldn't be good. You're married to the chairman. Mm. So, as I said, there, there does seem to be an awful lot of appearance upkeeping here. How's it like to live here with the sideways trees? You're not suspicious at all. Moving on. Oh, the, the music did a, a weird there. I would talk to all these people, but we were given an objective, so clearly we're not going to have any issues with that whatsoever. Also, there's a bubble station over there, so we're totally not going to need to go back up and see that. Of course the key's not here. That's... I was alluding to that because I was already aware of it, actually. So, Chairman Vale, what's the dealio? Where is the key, Leo? Yo. <laughs> so there we go. This is why I refrain from talking to people. We can ask around and that's kind of the point. It's like your first day in Animal Crossing. You need to talk to all the villagers so that the rather overbearing public official will stop complaining at you to work for him and pay rent and nonsense. Hello there. How is your face? That's a little bit inconsiderate of people who have actual depression. That's... That's one way of looking at it, but it's not... It's not that simple. And... that Also, physician heal thyself. That's a lot of purple. Can I go into it? Well, I mean, with the bubble I seem to be okay, but... That would say to me that we're going to need this bubble in order to get into the power plant, otherwise we will just die of purple. Of course, we can't take the bubble out of there because there's this insistence upon balance. Almost has like a slogan or something. Translate it into Latin, put it on a t-shirt. People, don't mind me just swanning through your fence. You really are just plastic people. <laughs> wow. Th there's something about this entire area that's just the right kind of off-putting. Because it's, it's all so deliberately plastically perfect. And th they're, they're being all chummy and friendly, but they clearly have some deep-seated resentment. You people are terrifying. Pardon me while I run very hard in the opposite direction. You there with the face. Edith. So well and good supplying cream to us, but we need key. Not key cream. Actually, just entirely separate thought. But why is it called key lime pie? It doesn't include any keys. Now you there. Can you help at all? Clearly it's not going to be Dolly, I think her name was, that's not- Oh, you! You clearly know something, you're stuttering. You're a video game character and you're stuttering whilst telling us that you don't know something. Clearly you're lying. Yeah, you might die. So give us the damn key! I had a feeling. Well, I already knew, but still, I would have had a feeling. Because Dolly's just turning up, wrecking everybody's shit, trying to lock us out of, um... Out of the entire basin. I would say locking everybody else in, but they just have to stand on the sap pads in order to leave, so... Okay, so she put it in the fountain. 
as one does. And it was through seeing this when it was being developed that I first saw, because we're going to encounter another one of those, like in Boreas Heights, which I suppose is a good reason for me to have left this place till third. There's another instance of those ghost people that are kind of the overworld version of a flashback, because we're going to see one of those in front of the fountain. There we go. Dolly, what's your damage? You're not even really here. Yes, thank you, Storyteller. That's why I spoke to her. Okay, so it isn't always frozen. Many years, Kreevoth. Kreevoth. Oh, she seemed so cute and innocent when she was young, and now she's just moody. We've seen her for about ten seconds in total, but she's just so moody. Oh, there we go. A game all about motion and its motion. You say that, but if this was many years ago and you still haven't left the basin, how do you know you're not already frozen? <laughs> Beautiful. It's like a perfect metaphor for Oscar Basin in general. They've stagnated, and they have frozen, and they're all lying. The water is still... the water is indeed wet. Which reminds me, I did once observe that water at one specific swimming pool seemed wetter than the previous place that we'd been going to. Fair point. No one seems to leave the, the basin anymore, so why would it matter? So, oh, that makes so much more sense. I thought this was just her being spiteful, but, oh, I suddenly respect her a little bit more, because that, that makes sense now. She really cares about keeping things in motion, and while everyone else is stagnated, she wanted to make sure that people sorted out their shit. So she did it with the best of intentions, still sort of a dickish thing to do, the, the sunset kind of looks like an eye in the distance there, Illuminati confirmedly dermed. Definitely can't walk through that. Well, we have the key now, so... To the Crystal Dome! Or actually the Oscar Mason power plant, but whatever. Veil face. Be nicer to your fountain and your people. Oh yeah, when you talk to him... He'll keep spouting various quotes like that, so... Yeah. Dolly is nuisance face. But she has good intentions, or so it would seem. By the way, we have the key now, so absolutely nothing could possibly get in our way on the way down to the power plant. And Tracy, what is Dolly's damage? Except we know, so never mind. Oh. Oh. She... That's... I guess I understand. Yeah, so her belief is that the power plant is what caused the people here to stagnate, despite their belief many, many years ago that they should be constantly moving and changing and growing and stuff, but they've sort of settled in this perfect plastic environment. And she believes that the power plant is the reason for that. Well, I'm going to grab this bubble because we've got gas to travel through in the lift. Don't think I didn't notice. You see, down there... It's, excuse you, Dolores, it's pronounced geome. And how so? All it's doing is sitting there being menacing. Well, yeah, we, we noticed that after about five seconds of being here. Perhaps so, but I mean, if they're pretending to be happy and that's good enough for them, then who are you to decide that that's wrong? If, if you object, go and make a change for yourself. So, sorry Dolores, but you have the right idea, but you're going about it in completely the wrong way. Okay, so you put a hole, you put a lime in the coconut and shake it all up. What's this here? A book. Why would you leave your diary here unless you deliberately want me to read it? Yep, had a feeling. <sighs> I 
This is frustrating, because she's got the right idea, but she's going about expressing it in entirely the wrong way. That's tragic, really. But anyway, so there's that hole in the glass, so the gas could get in, but I sort of already thought of that, because I've got the bubble. Hmm. Seems like I skipped a step. Maybe... Maybe it would have told us, oh, hey, we can't use the lift now because there's a hole in it, so just go and get the bubble. Oh, we've got interesting music right out, out of the gate. But, yep, there's the storyteller statue. Oh, this this dungeon, I know this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to say, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. In the next episode, we're going to take on possibly one of the most fascinating concepts for a dungeon in this entire game. See you then.